you know, the protesters are the ones being accused of, of um, sort of taking advantage of their privilege by standing up for their and other people's freedoms, but we're not highlighting the fact that they're working class people. Uh, you know, walking around speaking with them, they're, they're also very tough people. They've been mm -hmm. on the streets in Ottawa. They've probably been driving for many days, if not a week, then they've been on the streets in Ottawa. I walked around and I did an interview, had to hold my phone up, but I could last a, maybe a minute without my glove on before the, you know, the, the, the sharp pangs start hitting you because it's so bitterly cold there. These people have been sleeping, eating, everything outside round the clock with very few exceptions uh for a week now this yeah is not well the they put their money where their mouth is what did you say sorry they put their money where their mouth is That's right you know That's and right. yeah yeah well and it's so fascinating to me as i said before to watch the privileged elite leader of the working class response to this especially on the side of the ndp because the public polls indicate that if you vote NDP, you're like 75, 25 against the truckers. And there's nothing more annoying than uppity working class folks, you know, and that's especially true to the privileged, ideologically addled elites who want to claim moral superiority over them by leading those poor sheep into the promised land. Mm -hmm. It's it's really, you couldn't make it up if you wanted to. It's so ridiculous. We don't have to make it up. We've seen these paradigms in literature and history. The Greeks were great at this, right? I mean, we were just, we don't have to make it up. We're just copying uh, what's come before us. But